Bad news for Mo Brooks, who's running for the Alabama Senate seat in the Republican primary, who was endorsed by Trump. Until now, he has been unendorsed by the former president. Um, this is a guy who was um, among the leading organizers of January 6th protests. Like, w worked with the Stop the Steal pro like, protest. Like, he, he was the guy, like, among, among a handful of them. If he's not enough uh, for Trump, it's, then we are moving into very strange he has, territory. Unfortunately, according to Trump, Mo Brooks is woke. Has gone woke. I, I love yeah. his de I love his definition of woke. Going to read you well, part we got of this. A, tr a trigger warning for people who can't yes. he can't hear things without immediately <laughs> believing them. Our our, in our our YouTube masters in their infinite wisdom would like us to make sure we communicate to you. We do not believe the stolen election claim is false. Uh, we are going to repeat it now because I'm going to quote from former President Trump making that claim, which is false. So there's no confusion and no one gets any kind of suspension or any kind of his claim is thing. His claim is newsworthy because it is driving his decision to unendorse right. Mo Brooks. Right. Everybody cool? Everybody got it? Everybody, we can proceed safely now? <laughs> okay. Jesus Christ. Mo, <laughs> Mo Brooks of Alabama made a horrible mistake recently when he went woke, started referring to the 2020 presidential election scam. Put that behind you, put that behind you, despite the fact that the election was rife with fraud and irregularities. Not true. Not, which it was not. <laughs> that is what, what Trump has claimed. So he has unendorsed him. And he says, I, I don't think the great people of Alabama will disagree with me. Election fraud must be captured and stopped. Captured and stopped. Not all people in Alabama are great, just or, to be factual and clear. won't have a country anymore. Many I will be are. making a new endorsement in the near future. So this is, it's like the American Idol kind of. Oh, he loves to dangle, like, dangle who, who's going to get the rose? He, this is his favorite thing to do. Is he going to show up to this event, or is he not going to mm -hmm. show up to this event? Will he debate? Will he not debate? Who is he going to endorse? Maybe I will. He's even teased that he's going to endorse Greitens just because he loves the suspense. Right. And, Didn't he only Missouri. endorse Lisa, Lisa Murkowski on the, like, stipulation that she doesn't do anything to annoy him or something? What? Did he endorse her? I think he said, I am, I'm giving a conditional endorsement. <laughs> If she, um, look, it was, it was funny. Trump in, I, so he endorsed he, her, but it was like conditional on, oh, no, he endorsed her challenger. Uh, <laughs> yes, he hates Lisa Murkowski. But it came with a, it came with a catch. No, it came with a catch that the, the challenger did not, um, what is, is null and void if, if he endorses, yeah, if he endorses, okay, now this is the governor, the, he, his, Governor choice, he endorsed. Oh, I see. Is contingent on the governor not endorsing Lisa, Lisa Murkowski. Murkowski. Yeah. That's what it was. Just really funny. The transitive property of cancellation. Oh, that's pretty funny. Yeah, but yeah, Mo, Mo Brooks, what like he was communicating with the January sixth folks. He it's was never enough for Trump. He helped. He helped organize the rally. He spoke at the rally. Uh, he he has he led. You know he he has pushed. For all of these different, you know, reevaluations and studies and commissions and audits, he has pushed, he's pushed Trump's bogus claims that enough. the election was stolen to the hilt until finally, apparently, according to Trump, uh, he his, said we need to move on. From we need to move on from this. It's, it's 2022, and this was in 2020, and it makes us look like fools to keep whining about this, especially when they're staring at. If they don't do anything wrong, taking over the House and the Senate, right? And so they're like, let's just not let's just not continue. Maybe to Mo sound Brooks like was down. I don't, is he he was not looking good, and Trump saw this as an opportunity to dump an endorsement because Trump hates to endorse someone that then loses because he wants to still. There's that. He has this pretension to power that his endorsement carries so much weight, so he doesn't want the people he endorse. Right, and he loves to take fake credit for it. He's like, right. he, Mitch McConnell won in Kentucky because of Trump's endorsement. Right. Like, Mitch McConnell won in Kentucky because it's, <laughs> it's Kentucky, and he was running against Amy McGrath. So, yeah, but yes, Trump, and Trump loves to point to when, when he endorsed and where their, where their numbers went. Like, yeah. they jumped out to a 44-point lead because I endorsed him. Uh, so the, uh, um, It'll be interesting to see what happens with the, the Greiton situation. So this is the... The uh, Republican uh, seeking the Republican nomination for Senate in Missouri, and we talked about this on the show the other day. But this guy is very controversial. Resigned as governor, uh, is in a 
kind of horrific custody dispute, uh, is, is accused of, of all this really bad stuff. Josh Hawley has said he should not be in the race, who prosecuted him when he was attorney general, yeah. has called on him to drop out of the race and has endorsed someone else. So if, if Greitens uh, prevails, it's going to be really embarrassing. And, and I, Trump, I think, my understanding is feels some, just wants yeah. to get involved. Well, also, your instinct in Alabama was, was correct. So... He, Brooks is down at 14% in the latest poll and, and has, he's, he's, he's in third, third Hate place. to see it. You've got, yes. <laughs> and you've got this Mike Durant, um, who's famous as the like Black Hawk Down guy. Oh. You, you know, how are you going to compete with that? Can't. And so like, the poll has him up at uh, 34% and then kind of uh, a kind of businesswoman, Katie Britt at 28 percent. So it's kind of like a two person race, a Black Hawk down person against a Republican business person with then Mo Brooks flailing like badly in third place. That's hugely embarrassing for Trump because if he's lost his cachet in Alabama, that really undermines the perception of his his power. So he had to find some reason to uh, unendorse the woke Mo Brooks. So woke. It, it must be. It must sting to get called woke if you're Mo Brooks. Must sting. <laughs> Trump has no loyalty, and it's funny that he yes. commands perfect loyalty, but there's no reason he won't right. turn on the you. The most disloyal <laughs> really, person probably truly, on the planet. Absolutely. <laughs> That's Michael Cohen with the prison. Our, our, our likely next <laughs> Republican uh, nominee for president and very conceivably our president again in the future. Could be, but, but this suggestion that his... His grasp on the party is much more tenuous than people think. We'll have to see if it's if and when it's really put to the test. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. But his just again, did, he lost. He Fair lost. Square. Absolutely. Yeah. Everybody satisfied now? We can move along. I think we're good. All right. We'll have more rising after this.